Imagine Oprah Winfrey, David Goggins, Obama, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, incredible communicators. When these folks are in front of an audience, they have a way of psychologically commanding massive amounts of respect. I want to teach you five powerful secrets that you'll be able to utilize to go in front of any audience and command immediate respect instant respect, instant credibility, and you're gonna be able to go from being a, a forgettable speaker to an unforgettable presence, able to literally captivate your entire audience in moments. So I'm really, really pumped and excited. Get ready, it's gonna be powerful. First thing you gotta do if you want to get instant respect from your audience is you've got to demonstrate authority, okay? You gotta demonstrate authority. An audience loves to be captivated by an authority figure, okay? And I don't, I don't care what you're talking about, it doesn't matter your subject matter, you have to come across as an authority, as an expert in your subject matter, okay? And you've heard me share this before in previous videos. If you wanna become an expert, instead of going a mile wide and an inch deep, you've gotta go an inch wide and a mile deep in your subject matter. Does that make sense? You have to command authority. You've gotta command authority by letting people know that you're an expert, and it starts before you actually present. So I want you to build authority-based statements into your introduction and into your bio so that someone else says these major things about you or your intro video says these major things about you before you even get on stage and before you even start presenting. I can't tell you how many times I've been in front of audiences and the intro video of the speaker alone made me sit up a little bit different in my chair, grab my pen, get paper ready, because I knew I was listening to an authority someone who knew what they were talking about. So what's my point, my friend? You have to learn how to lead with your medals. Your greatest levels of credibility and respect, the things that you've achieved the most, let those be the front running things in your intro and in your bio, and make sure that you lead with that in your presentation. So start with authority and make sure that whatever you say, those first couple of statements out of your mouth, speak to your level of expertise in your subject matter so that people know exactly why they should listen to you. So for example, if I'm speaking in front of a room full of, of corporations, I would say, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I speak to Fortune 50 corporations all over the world, billion dollar pharmaceutical organizations, aviation organizations, financial services and insurance organizations, and direct sales and network marketing organizations all over planet Earth. I've given over 4,000 documented presentations live, and I'd like to teach you X, Y, Z, and ABC. What I did in those first opening phrases is I proved why I'm an authority in the area of peak performance and why I'm an expert in this conversation and why it's important that you pay attention to me. Does that make sense? Listen, we live in a world where distraction is everywhere and the number one piece of real estate in the average person's mind today is attention. Attention is the greatest real estate that we have. We're vying for people's attention on Instagram, attention on LinkedIn, attention on Facebook, right? So your authority captures attention. The second thing that I would highly recommend that you do, if this is a psychological trick, now these are secret sauce, this is secret stuff, this is Jedi mind trick stuff, is you gotta use visuals. When you use visuals in a presentation, what it does is it elevates your presentation from just eh, average ordinary to extraordinary, right? Because guess what, we live in a visual world, right? 70% of the content online that we consume on a daily basis is video based or visual heavy. So what we have to learn how to do, think about Pinterest, right? So what we have to learn how to do, think about this, this is an incredible visual visual aid, right? I can say I'm the Mr. Miyagi of public speaking, but when I put this hush puppy on, you think Karate Kid, you think wax on, wax off, paint the fence, sand the floor. Let me get ready to learn the fundamentals so I can go in and win the fight of giving incredible talks and presentations. So I want to help you use visuals more powerfully in your talks because strong visual aid presentation in a talk improves the retention of that talk 75%. Write that down, y'all. People will retain the message of your presentation 75% better. If you use strong visuals in your presentation, it commands instant respect, instant credibility, and your visuals, especially when done correctly, will add a pat and powerful punch to your presentation and take things to that next level. It's one thing for me to say, hey, I like to crowd surf in my audiences. It's another thing to show me show a photo of it. It's, not, it's one thing for me to say, hey, my mom passed nine years ago. It's another thing to show a photo of Olivia and tell you all the amazing things that she did to mentor me as a kid. Does that make sense? It's one thing for me to talk about the sixth grade teacher that changed my life academically. It's another thing to show a picture of me in class in the sixth grade with a part and waves, right? <laughs> What's my point? Visuals command instant respect. Remember, people do business with folks that they know, like, and trust. You build no like and trust factor when you incorporate visuals. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video. Listen, if you know that you're ready to get more clients, contacts, contracts, and cash, 
register for our upcoming five-day challenge. It's called Monetize Your Message. MonetizeYourMessageChallenge.com, the link is in the bio. Number three, repetition. You're gonna see this all the time, no matter what the industry, no matter what the subject matter. You wanna take it to the next level, make sure that you build repetition into your presentation. Here's what that looks like. Have you ever noticed how comedians do this? A comedian will set up a joke in the beginning of their one hour stand up, and they'll call back to the joke multiple times throughout their one hour set. They'll establish it once, and they'll go back to it over and over and over again. Why? Because write this down, repetition is the mother of skill, and rehearsal is the father of learning. A trait of a novice is someone who doesn't know when they're powerful, so they say powerful stuff only one time. A master knows when they say something powerful, slows down when they say something powerful, and they say it over and over again. Repetition is the mother of skill, and rehearsal is the father of learning, right? So here's what I want you to do in your next presentation. I want you to find whatever quotables you can find, whatever quotables, right? Whatever stats or whatever the, the your phrase that pays is, whatever that, those key phrases, those key quotables, those key stats, or, or even if it's, it's a framework, find a way to repeat it multiple times throughout your presentation because the repetition of saying that same thing over and over and over again, let's say that the, the, let's say the purpose of your presentation is to communicate or convey the fact that change happens at a more accelerated rate than most companies and organizations are prepared for. Then what you wanna do is you wanna say that over over and over again. So ladies and gentlemen, as we go into point number four, remember change happens at a more accelerated rate than most companies and organizations are prepared for. So we have to develop our interpersonal leadership skills if we're going to lead change in 2023. Does that make sense? When you go to point number five, you would say the same thing. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, change happens at a much more accelerated rate than most companies and organizations are prepared for. So repetition is a key to establishing instant respect with an audience. And the more you use these psychological tricks in your next presentation, the more you will be deemed an expert who knows what they're talking about and an expert who believes certain concepts and principles are so important, they teach it to you over and over again. Think about school. Did they teach you two plus two was four once? Nah, they taught it to you a thousand times. Then they taught you that four plus four was what? Eight. Then they taught you what? Eight plus eight was what? 16. Then they taught you what? 16 plus 16 is what? 32, right? Learning, write this down, is nothing but connecting new information to old information. So they teach you addition, then they teach you multiplication. They teach you subtraction, then they teach you division. You learn division after you learn subtraction, you learn, you learn multiplication after you learn addition. Why do they do that? Because they're helping you understand the benefit of repetition and they're helping you understand the benefit of attaching new learning to old learning. Psychological trick number four. Isn't this good stuff? Emotion. If you wanna take it to the next level, this psychological trick is crucial in any presentation. When you speak to the heart of your audience, you move your audience. Look at the root word of emotion, motion. If you want to move your audience, you have to get to them emotionally. So during your presentation, I want you to find ways to make your audience feel grateful, excited, passionate, thrilled, a little bit worried, nervous, anxious, exhilarated, exuberated, contemplative, right? Like on the edge of their seats. Find ways to make your audience feel involved considered, valued, intended, compassionate. Find ways in your presentation to use phrases and words and stories that evoke massive emotion. If you want to move your audience, emotion and motion are connected. That's why in my presentations, I love to get my audiences to interact and get use their body. Because the more I get my body, my audiences to move their body, the more motion they give me, the more emotion comes out of them. Does that make sense? So here's what I wanna, really wanna encourage you to do in this presentation. I want you to encourage your audience to emote more. Right? So how do you emote more, right? So here's what I do in my presentations. I will tell my audiences, man, I got chill bumps all over my arms as I'm teaching you these concepts. I feel so grateful to be here today, ladies and gentlemen. Who's grateful to be here, right? I say stuff like, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have so much pride when I talk about my daughters. And I know every parent in the room, any parents in the room, we have so much pride when we talk about our kids, even when they mess up, even when they, even when they get on our last nerve, we're proud that they're our kids. Does that make sense? That's evoking pride in my audience. It's a psychological trigger that will command massive respect. And here's the bonus, let's put some money in your pocket. Psychological trigger number five, CTA. My friend, when you have a clear, concise call to action, it actually establishes massive amounts of authority. Why? Because what a clear call to action says to an audience is that you thought enough about their outcome after your presentation enough to build a clear path 
to their next best logical step after hearing your presentation. And if you have thought about their path and their next best logical step after hearing your presentation and you did it in advance, it says, man, this guy, this girl, she's clearly an authority or an expert. So having a clear CTA, whether it's enroll in something or register for something or, or download something or purchase something or make some investment or take some survey or schedule a call, no matter what the CTA is, my friend, if you've thought about the outcome in advance, it's a persuasive presentation, all right? You're unleashing your inner persuader, right? And the call to action tells them what to do next, right? And so I wanna challenge you in this video, make sure that you incorporate these five massive psychological triggers and it's gonna take your next presentation through the roof. No, this is Dr. Della Toro, the Mr. Miyagi of public speaking. I'm somewhere around the world believing in you and understanding that you will take your speaking career to the next level because this is your year to shift your speaking career into a higher gear through the power of public speaking and presentation. Talk soon.